comes Market Street. He could be a nutrition. That's what he could be. A doctor, a teacher, an actor. Anything. So he decides to make things. He wanted to make something. Why can't he make something glamorous? Anything. Cosmetics, furniture, surfboards. Anything. Anything at all. Anything, but... So, what's wrong with ant farms? So, what's wrong with ant farms? Ant farms. I mean, everything. They're, they're creepy. Can I tell my friends about them? Tell me who I can tell. Already in school, in the laughing stock. People itch at me in the hall. I'm going to put ant paste locker. You know what Lance said? Lance said, Hi there, Janice. How's the old mandible? The mandible passed me, Bob. What you tell me? Aren't you all proud of me? I mean, I'm taking a risk. I'm investing time and money, and I'm doing okay. Yeah, that's nice. Pass me the rhubarb. Oh, would you like some persimmons, fast daddy? No, no. Rhubarb, darling. What's doing okay? Me. I mean, my business. It's not a business. It's a stigma. Don't you talk to your brother like that. Steve, you're really making a profit? Yeah, looks like it. And I'm learning a lot, too. That's good. You know, Louis, dear, I think we've misjudged this whole thing. Speak for yourself, Eric. I don't want to have anything to do with those ants. I don't want to be associated with them. I just well, don't... Me neither. What do you think it's like being known in the glee club as Janice, Queen of the Ants? Mother, you're right. I didn't have to produce ant farms. There are a lot of other goods I could have produced, like, uh... Well, like this. Or, uh... Or this. Maybe ant farms are a little strange, but they're useful to some people. I bet nobody else would make them. Mom, what are you saying? I have plenty of competition. At least seven other companies. Only seven? That's not much competition. And that's not the only competition. Pets, aquariums, even toys are products that compete with mine. Oh, but ant farms. I mean, ant farms. I think we ought to give Steve's ant farms a chance. So maybe my family wasn't so hot on the idea at first, but out of all the things that could be produced, I decided to supply ant farms, and plenty of people want them. I make them for pet stores, hobby shops, schools, toy stores, any place that wants to stock and sell Uncle Stevie's giant ant farms. I'm a supplier. Now, there are a lot of things that affect how many I'll supply to the market. Same as for any product. For one thing, the availability of materials and resources and their prices affect what I produce. Cotton, to keep the ants in the ant farms. Wire, to push the cotton that keeps the ants in the ant farms. Plastics, to make the size that hold the ants in the farms that are kept by the cotton that's been pushed by the wire. Oh, you get the idea. Uh, what else? Some of the materials I need are hard to find and costly, and some are plentiful. Ants. Ants! Ants? Yeah, ants. <laughs> it's not just the existence of resources that affect the supply of things. There's labor, too. Some kinds of workers are easy and cheap to hire. Easy to find because for their jobs, rare skills aren't required. But some jobs use special skills, and a good manager has to know how to find skilled people and what to pay them. Now, you take my business. There might be a lot of ants in the world. Here they are. Where they are? Don't you see them? No. Oh, yeah, a couple of them. Tiny little things. It's ants for you. Doesn't seem like you can get very many dipping that straw into the annual like that. I do the best I can. What if we get big orders? What then? Get a bigger straw? Equipment also affects what we are able to supply. That old broom straw method just couldn't get us enough ants at an acceptable cost. And then I got an idea. All you have to do is find a few rich in ant potential like this. So? So, this is Stevie's Annie, Victor. Well, what are you going to do with that? Well, you, you turn it on, and voila! Now ants are cheap. Ants galore. It's a bonanza. What unusual ingenuity. Knowledge. Knowledge. Knowledge, but very unusual. Oh, for sure, for sure. 
Something else has a big effect on how much I'll supply, the selling price. That price does a couple of things. For one, it shows how much consumers value more ant farms. What do you think Chan would like for his birthday? A model airplane? <gasps> no! An ant farm. An ant farm? Oh, Lou, try something else. It says, see, put the ants up here. But Lou, think of it, living full time with ants. They give you a book, a guarantee. At six dollars, this is sensational. Well, how about Cologne? That's six dollars, too. You must be kidding. I'd rather have the ant farm. Besides, Chan's crazy about ants. <laughs> try to train one once. He'll be tickled. He will? I mean, he really will? It's worth as much as anything I'd pay six dollars for. Another pair of knee socks, a pizza. Lou. Anytime you want one, I've got an in. I mean, Uncle Stevie's? Your Steve? Who else? Not only does the selling price measure the value of a good to the consumer, to the supplier it provides an incentive, the wherewithal to get the good produced. Hi, it's me. What's that? Oh. Ah, remember Cousin Ernie? Mm -hmm. He said that he's producing the baskets. Wasn't he always producing baskets? Yeah, come to think of it. He's getting a good price for the baskets now. So Ernie gets a good price. So good for Cousin Ernie. So he's willing and able to continue making baskets. Good grapes. Cousin Ernie's just like any other supplier. If baskets get a good price, that gives him incentive and the money to cover costs. Of course. How many he's willing and able to produce depends on those production costs. my production costs play a large part in how many farms I produce. What are those costs? The value of the best other things that the labor and materials could have been used for instead of making ant farms. Say, hey, what does that mean? The value of the best other use for material and labor. I don't get it. That means practically nothing. Look, there are a lot of materials and services that go into making ant farms like what you do. Me? You mean, watching boxes all day? I like it. Well, what else could you have done? A lot of things. A lot. But this is the best job I found. I was going to be a sausage stuffer. Stuffing sausages paid pretty well. And I love the smell of garlic. Till this job came along. That's just the point. You gave up being a sausage stuffer to be an ant farm inspector better paid. Sausage stuffing was your best other opportunity. And what I'm paying you must cover that value, that cost. So the cost of your working here is what you gave up by not working there. It's clear, easy to see in the case of people, the labor services I employ. Yeah, clear. But for other things I use to produce ant farms, it's not so easy to see that. Take the plastic that goes into the ant farm. That plastic has value for the production of Okay, baby rattles. You know what that means? That means that to make ant farms, other things won't get made. Other valuable things are given up. I know it's a funny way of looking at things, but it's true. The cost of making ant farms is the value of the best other things that could have been made, but weren't. Of course, the cost of ant farms also depends on how fast I make them. Producing more ant farms than I usually do, but in the same amount of time, makes the cost go up. Like when Juan Perez, the exterminator, came in one day with a special order. I was on the phone with Louise Jameson, one of the investors in my company. Everything is working out terrific. The new receptionist is great. What? What do you want with us? I want to place an order, Steve. You? An order for ant farms? Steve, listen to me. Steve, what did you do with the phone? Yes, an order for ant farms. Now, what do you think? Exterminators don't have a sense of humor? Ant farms as door prices for a national convention. <laughs> Say, that's terrific. <laughs> now, uh, how many were you thinking about and when? Where in the world did you go? Steve, answer me! 3,000 in three weeks. Wow, that's a big order. Exterminators don't fool around. Wait till I tell Louise. <gasps> Louise. Left her on the phone. Louise, good news. Juan Perez is here. The exterminator? Are you nuts? Get rid of him. He's dangerous. 
No, Louise, you've got it wrong. He wants 3,000 ant plantations for the exterminators convention in three weeks. I don't believe it. She doesn't believe it. Oh, she should. She should. Imagine 3,000 farms filled with ants. He is for real. Real money, too. How much? Um, that'll take a moment. Why don't you step outside, have a cup of coffee, help yourself? Okay. Could you call me right back? I've got some calculations to do. What? Oh, Stevie! And then I called my operations manager to figure out just how much it would cost to fill Juan's big order. Lenny? Hmm? We're producing about a thousand ant farms a week, right? Uh-huh. But to produce our regular amount and 3,000 more in three weeks for Juan Perez, we'd have to speed up production, double our rates, wouldn't we? That means going on overtime, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. adding temporary workers, mm. greater risk of mechanical breakdowns. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Lenny. I can always depend on you. Those are higher costs. Oh, Lenny. If you're going to produce that many farms that fast, I estimate it'll only be worth it if you get $9 a farm to cover your extra costs. I know, Lenny, but I wonder if it's worth $9 to him. What if it isn't? Well, uh, it won't pay me to produce them unless I get that much. Do what you have to do, and don't do what you can't do. My operation manager concurs. A uh, problem. Uh-huh. Yep. The best I can do is about $9 a farm for each of the extra 3000 Now that's it, in black and white. To keep you from going in the red. Right. Mm. If I don't get NINE, I won't cover my costs to make them that fast. They used to sell for $6 a piece. I thought there would be even less for, for a large order. Now why is it higher for me? Not higher for you. Higher for getting that large an order that fast. This this is a big order. You should think big. Small thinkers, small orders. Big thinkers, big costly. Orders. Now what about the rest of the orders? I mean, they're big. Big, yes. But I have a lot of time to make them. To make your special big order now, I have to have more of everything faster. Materials, labor, even ants. Ants? Well, I can get you those. I can't guarantee the condition. Look, if you could wait a little longer, I won't have to make them so fast, and you can get them cheaper. Exterminators do not wait. Then exterminators get $9 ant farms. Exterminators don't either. They rather suffer without them. Thank you. What increases costs is faster, speedier production. And no matter how things are produced, by hand or with machines, producing something faster, more in the same amount of time, costs more for each. If Juan had been willing to pay a price that covered those extra costs, I'd have made the extra farms, period. Well, today's the day. My first annual business meeting Oh, my parents will be there. And some of the staff, too. Yeah, what? It's in foreign languages. And my investors. Edward and Louise Jameson. Ah! Hi, Lois. Hi, Eric. Morton, say hi to the group. Oh, my goodness, could you get that thing out of here? So, it looks like everyone's here. Huh? Ah. I'm babysitting for Mrs. Taylor. Poor thing was a bit sluggish, so I thought a visit here would pep him up. Uh, here, boy. Here, come on. Okay, tell me, did you make a profit this year? Over my production costs? Yes, over what you had to pay for labor and materials, depreciation, replacement, interest on borrowed money. Interest on our money. Well, how much? 20,000, give or take a thou. 20,000? My Stevie? And farms? Well, where did that come from? He couldn't have underpaid his workers. Didn't underpay me or anyone else. 
see. I told you. And he still made $20,000. With all the labor and materials, he produced something worth $20,000 more to people than if he hadn't gone into business? That's good management. Tell you what. I'll pay you $20,000 a year to match what you're getting here. There go your profits. What do you mean? They're, those profits are his. No, but now that $20,000 is a cost to him. His time is worth $20,000 to do some other work for Mr. Jameson. Now, if I don't earn what I could earn from you, Mr. Jameson, I won't be covering my costs. I could have done a lot of other things because there are a wide variety of goods and services produced. But I chose to produce and supply ant farms. A number of things affect the supply of what is produced. The availability of natural resources and the skills of various individuals who are employed. The knowledge that suppliers have and the kind of equipment that are used in the production of anything, like my ant farms. The cost of my using them, what I pay for them, reflects the most valuable other things that were given up when they were used to make ant farms instead. But one thing that really affects the amount produced and supplied is the selling price. That price not only measures the value of a good to the consumer, to the producer, it provides the wherewithal and the incentive to get the goods produced. Like with Cousin Ernie's baskets. Baskets get a good price, so he's willing and able to produce baskets and cover their cost. The selling price also affects how quickly goods will be produced. To produce more of something, producing something more quickly, means costs will rise. Like when Juan Perez wanted a lot of ant farms quickly, more than I can normally make in three weeks. To speed up production like that, to make more in the same amount of time, increases costs. That's because of overtime, temporary personnel, and the increased chance of machine breakdowns. If Juan would have paid a higher price to cover those higher costs for quicker production, I would have made the extra farms. When anyone produces a product whose value is greater than cost, the value of the materials are known to be able to produce elsewhere, a profit is created. My profit was $20,000. When Mr. Jameson recognized the value of my managerial ability and offered to hire me for $20,000, that offer converted what was a profit into a cost if I continue to make ant farms. But I'll continue to make ant farms as long as I can cover that cost. Well, I'm going to stay here. Maybe I could produce a few other things. Steve! Stevie! Oh, Morton! Morton! Where are you? If you are sure that how many you do is worth it to you But there's an extra cost when you make things quick Your expenses will grow the faster you go The people who live 